Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gaming on Cars. Now this is a very special day. Um, we are looking at an all new 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Now we have to talk about numbers first, okay? This car is starting at $185,000. This car is optioned up to $210,000. It's got a 94.3 kilowatt battery uh, pack. You know, no normal engine. 750 horsepower, 774 foot-pounds of torque. This car will go zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds, which is just insane. Now, I just drove a Tesla Model S a couple of months ago, and this car is a direct competitor to that. And, you know, Tesla has taken over the you know full-size you know electric luxury cars, but this car, just standing next to it, is like 20 times better looking than the Tesla. So I'm going to be comparing this car to the Tesla quite a bit, just because that's sort of sort of fresh in my mind. My buddy Joe's with me here. He's a, another German car fan like I am, but this thing is absolutely stunning in person. So let's take a look at the Taycan Turbo S. styling like I just mentioned before but this is this car is 50 times better looking than a Tesla Model S but just look how massive these brakes are now this car has the wheels that were uh, part of the Mission E concept you know this was a concept car back in 2015 and this is Porsche's first all-electric model and just the styling is is gorgeous you know the the rake of the roof right here just looks like a 911 you know there's there's plenty of them around here here's an older one right there but just it's just gorgeous now when you walk up to the car and you have the key the lights or the doors will go up see they, they pop out right there and it has the same beep as my Audi does if you just listen yeah same beep but anyway just it's a gorgeous looking car now moving around back you know there's carbon fiber everywhere carbon fiber back here now this is a uh, the name of this car is sort of controversial because it being an electric car it is still called the turbo and turbo s it's kind of like what ford did with the mach e mustang which i don't agree with that they didn't do it bad as this but when you think of porsches you think of porsche turbo a 911 turbo so it's name recognition um the Taycan name is kind of funky i don't really know where they even got that name but it's an all new thing so then maybe they just started they have the macan which is right there, so I don't know where they got Taycan, but just another cool feature about this car, all Audis and Porsches now have a light bar that goes the whole way around the back, and this car is the same thing, but if you look closely in the Porsche logo, it just sort of looks like a little like a little circuit, you know, sort of like to evoke the that this is an electric car. Now you've got carbon fiber back here, the, the camera's back here, we'll go into the camera uh, when we get on the inside. This is the button for the trunk right here. Pop it up, now this is a normal, you know sedan type trunk it doesn't have a hatchback like the Panamera or like a Tesla Model S um, the trunk is not bad it's it's not as big as a Tesla you've got a tiny tiny little spot down here for I don't know documents or something um, but yeah it's not not too bad they've got a button there to if you get locked in the trunk just like every other Porsche and Audi model you, you flip that down but just this this car has has a wing right here but it only goes up when you're driving the car you can go in the infotainment screen and raise it up just for cleaning, but it only pops up like an inch or two just so you could like fit a rag under it. But this, this, it really looks like a four door 911 from this angle right here. It's just a gorgeous car. This is one of the most important cars that Porsche has released in a long time. But yeah, you've got carbon fiber on the side right here, ginormous brakes. These are 21 inch wheels, you know, continental tires. It just sits so low when I when I went to, to sit in it to move this car it just you feel like you're sitting on the ground he said it, it feels kind of like a 911 which I've never sat in a 911 before now the charging port is right here you just move your finger right along that and that opens up it's kind of cool it's not not a door that like flips out it just goes into the car so that's the charging port now Porsche claims 
that the fastest charging station for this car, you can go from five miles up to 80% charge in like 22 minutes, which is by far the fastest in the industry. But this car doesn't have, you know, the network that Tesla has for charging. So that would be sort of something you want to think about if you buy this car, but you could still, you know, take it as an electric car and plan out your routes, you know, like you would any other electric car. Now to close it, you just rub your finger right there. Now one side is the AC charger and the other side is the DC charger. So there's one on this side and that side. But yeah, just looking at the headlights, you know, Porsche now has the corporate, you know, four, four little dashes. Let's see if we can get that. When you turn it on, there's a turn signal, but yeah. Unmistakably Porsche. And he said they're gonna pick a lot of stock of these because you might be hitting these on, on roads and that will be very expensive. So yeah, the styling is gorgeous. Um, it has the performance cred like Porsches have. You know, any new 911 Turbo S already goes zero to 60 in 2.5, but just to have the electric equivalent already be that fast, um, it's something impressive. Yeah, here's on the other side, you just swipe your finger. There's the DC charger. Same thing, just pop your finger underneath. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is the Taycan Turbo S. Now there's there's three trims for Taycan. There's the 4S, which starts like something like 105,000. Then there's the Turbo, which is sort of the middle of the grade. And this is the Turbo S. This is the flagship. This is the most expensive one, the fastest one. Um, yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. Always been a fan of German cars, but just listen. The only reason I'm standing in front of this car is because I asked. I said, hey, can I come take a look at this Taycan? And they said yes. So that's all you do. All you can do is ask. So let me know what you think about the styling of this car. And I think it's time to go in the inside, which is just as equally impressive as the outside. Here's the key for the Taycan, just a normal key. It doesn't have like the credit card type thing like the Tesla has. When you walk up to it, the doors pop out. Now, just look how low this is. If I put the key on the ground, this is almost that low. It's crazy. Now, this car has black leather, and I asked the guy, and he wasn't sure what the name of these, this sort of gold, like bronzes color is, but you can get that everywhere it's on the vents it's on the cup holders right here it's a really classy touch that looks good with the black leather there's a nice graphic right there the Taycan but yeah okay so we have three screens and this this main screen that has your speedometer and everything is a curved piece of glass I can't imagine how expensive that would be to replace so there's a screen right here a screen right here he said there isn't going to be an option for a fourth screen right here which would let the passengers change things, you know, settings or music, I guess. But all right, let's turn it on. There's, as all Porsches, the start button or the key is on the left side. All right, let me just close this door. So from the steering wheel, you can do a bunch of different things, you know, with these little quick wheel, click wheels. Right here is the drive mode, which right there we're in normal. You can go to sport, sport plus, individual. Um, this range button, I think it would, yeah, it says max 70 miles an hour. It optimizes your range. Let's say if you're getting low uh, with the car, it'll sort of probably turn the air down a little bit or just, you know, not let you go too fast. So the screen, Porsches have always had the five dials in front of you with the speedometer right front and center and the tachometer, but this car does not need a tachometer. So you've got, you know, settings over here on the right side. There's your park. Now, the new 911 has the same sort of, I guess you could call it the shifter here, but this is what you go to go into into gear and then park. So if I go into reverse, okay, the camera system is is insane. This is just as good, and I'm sure this is one of the best on the market. But so I'm facing backwards right now. If I hit this button right here, you can see the car, what it looks like in real time. If I go up to the front, it will show the car. So if I move forward. If I move forward, I will go back. Now, 
in real time it shows the car moving so this is just it, it's it's amazing I'm moving it around I can see what is behind me I'm not gonna go back anymore because there's a fence about 10 feet behind me and I don't want to scratch this two hundred thousand dollar car but yeah the camera technology is insane um, it's probably one of the best in the business BMW has a nice system too but we're gonna put this in park so your speedometer front and center there's a power gauge and the recuperation now an interesting thing about this car is that it has a two-speed transmission there's motors in the front and the back and the reason that this car is faster than the Tesla Model S um, from a launch is because the the main gear which is operates from the motor in the rear that will go from 0 to 62 straight up and Tesla sort of builds you know that, that only has a one gear you know just one final gear this car is is built for straight line performance so that is why this car has been tested to be faster than the Tesla Model S so the quality in here and the leather is just unbelievable it's gorgeous so a couple things about these screens that is interesting this right here is how you control the HVAC controls and you, you don't just hit the screen you have to sort of hit it and it, it'll make a beep it's sort of like I guess you call it haptic controls um, which is kind of nice now one thing that is kind of I don't understand which is kind of lazy you can control this screen right here from this screen down here you see the little icon moving there instead of reaching your arm up here you can reach just right here just ever so softly and change thing there's Led Zeppelin great song all right so this car has a fifty eight hundred dollar Burmeister audio system and I love Led Zeppelin they're my favorite so let's let's take a listen do 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 It's hard to come across on the screen, but it just sounds so good. Alright, anyway. So we could do this all day. Now on this screen, you can open the trunk and okay, you just I'm not gonna do it, but you hit these buttons here to open up the trunks. Um, the AC charger's over there, the DC charger's over there. I don't know if I said that right. But you can open the front and rear trunks from here. Now this, I, I, I can understand how this car would get your fingerprints all over it, but as a touch screen, that's okay. There's no there's no little click wheel or anything to do right here. These are just touch screens. Now, this button will show you for your range. So right now we're at 85%. We can go 168 miles. Now this car was in the news for having you know significantly less um, range as a Tesla Model S. That car is like the king of the range, which will go 370 miles. This car will do something like 200, to 220 miles which is is less but I don't think that matters you know if you're in the market for this car spending two hundred thousand dollars odds are this is not your only Porsche or you have a Range Rover or a Mercedes or something else you know expensive to take care of your other needs for you know other cars so if you're spending on this car the range I don't think this is a problem at all um, but yeah this this is incredible the steering wheel is is beautiful the materials are unbelievable. This is like a small diameter wheel. It just feels really nice. You know, Alcantara up here, leather stitched everywhere, carbon fiber. I don't know what you call this color. Plus the giant panoramic screen up top. Um, you you can't move it or open it, but it, it's it's tinted so you wouldn't get sunburn, you know, in your face. But yeah, this is just beautiful. Now there's the nav screen up there. Bunch of different modes. Now this this car has the regenerative braking but it is not as good or not as aggressive as other electric cars that Porsche is more about driving feel and they don't want you to sort of hit you over the head that this is an electric car um, recuperation you can have it off on or auto which uh, is fine um, I would probably just keep it on auto but yeah this this screen is very nice to use um, trip odometer comfort lots of different stuff ambient lighting comfort access lots of cool stuff I'm just clicking over just to see all this stuff navigation media phone settings lots of cool stuff climate now you can since these vents do not move they don't go up and down like a normal car you move them on the screen you just hit hit a button there okay it could be diffused focused or individual so if we hit individual I can change I can decide where that right vent will shoot the air so I'll just go right there 
the middle one I'm gonna put it right in the middle right here that's just kind of cool so yeah that is uh, interesting you can change it and have it work to go where you want because these are just completely open I can stick my whole hand in there so to recap I mean beautiful quality nice materials everywhere um, I mean what do you what's what is there to say there's a wireless charging pad in there two cup holders listen if you're in the market for this car you're doing very well in life and you deserve to have nice things and this is unbelievable quality so let's check out the back all right so if we're going into the back seat now this car in the back here is has two seats but you can also get a bench seat um, and these seats are like nicely bolstered you know because it's a Porsche and it's a driver's car Parental control activated. You got a nice screen here. Heated seats back here. Now I had the seat where I was, and this is not not that cramped. I mean, there's not too much room, but back here you can really get a sense of just how everything looks, and it just looks amazing. This screw, this panoramic roof is just unbelievably awesome. So nice. This Alcantara is so nice too. So yeah, this is the back seat. I mean, if you have this car, you could put your kids back here. It would be nice to get them at high school in a 750 horsepower electric car. There's a nice little shot of that 997 right there. So yeah, this is the back seat. Now much to report. Not too bad. Alright, so to wrap up just this little walk around of the Taycan Turbo S. Now, I can't forget to thank Porsche of Mechanicsburg. Um, they're having a building being built right here. It should be done in September, so this is their temporary home. But I will flash their website on the screen right here. Big thank you to those guys um, for letting me come take a look at this car. Um, so I'm thinking this already, just as far as looks and performance, um, I like this better than the Tesla. Just from looks, Porsche comes from the, the sporting mindset. You know, they've, they've done the 911 for 50 years. Tesla's sort of new to the game. And I think their reign is the best luxury electric car is, is over. Um, this car looks 20 times better. The interior is nicer quality. Um, Porsche's obviously had a lot more time to perfect what they're doing, and I think they're definitely doing it. So, big thank you to Porsche of Mechanicsburg. Um, go check them out if you ever are in the need for a Porsche, which I hope you are. So, this car is beautiful, beautifully styled. I think it just looks great. Um, it ticks all the boxes. The quality and the craftsmanship is very obvious from the inside. And this is the nicest car I've ever been in and around. Most powerful, most expensive. So. Um, thanks for watching this video. We're actually going to take this car out on the road. Um, the general manager is going to come with me. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.